Hello my dear students, welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh Shamesi Jovalaji. Today our topic is uh, Head of the Cockroach. In last class, we completed the external features like uh, shape, size, structure, color of the cockroach. And in that morphology only, we have to discuss about three tegmata. In the three tegmata, one is a head, another one is a thorax and the abdomen. So first we will discuss about the head. Later we will move to the, the remaining uh, parts, re the remaining tegmat of the cockroach. First come to the head. Head of the cockroach is triangular in shape. Head of the cockroach is what in shape? Which, in which shape? It is what? In triangular shape. And this triangular shape head is right angles to the body. It is right angles to the body. For example, if it is the head, if it is the head and the body is like this, thorax and abdomen. So the body is in this manner and the head is in vertical manner. The head is the vertical manner and the body is a rectangular manner or the, it is in X axis and it is in Y axis. So it is completely right angle to the body and it is triangular in shape. Triangular in shape means what? The posterior surface, the posterior broader surface is uh, uh, towards the sky and all the mouth parts, all the mouth parts towards the ground, towards the land. So this type of head is called hyponathus head. Hypo is called what? Hyponathus head. What is called? Hyponathus head. And if we want to draw the diagram of the hyponathus head, it is a look like this. So, it is the broader out, broader surface of the head of the cockroach and this is what? This is the triangular shape and it is the broader surface so the eyes are look like this these are the a pair of compound eyes of the cockroach okay and uh, this head completely this head is completely formed by the fusion of six embryonic segments six embryonic segments very important previous question and it is ncrt line head of the cockroach is formed by the fusion of how many segments six embryonic segments six embryonic segments together form the head three segments together form the thorax and the 10 abdominal segments are there so total how many segments are there in that uh, cockroach 10 abdominal segments three thoracic segments, six head segments, cephalic segments, together 19 segments are present. And in that head is formed by the fusion of six embryonic segments. It is a triangular in shape and it is very small, small triangular in shape, small triangular. And it is right angle to the body. And this head is called what? Hyponathus head and come to this head structure this head capsule is formed by the sclerites numerous sclerites together form capsule numerous sclerites so don't get uh, confused between the segment and sclerite only six segments but these six segments are uh, have they, the six segments have numerous segments uh, that is uh, sclerites numerous sclerites six segments fused to form a capsule the head capsule is actually formed by the sclerites they are numerous in number okay and come to here the main first one is the upper portion of the head this is the upper portion of the head and this is called what vertex the upper portion 
the upper portion or the posterior portion of the head is called vertex this vertex is called epicranial plate this vertex is called what epicranial plate epicranial plate here actually epicranial plates are two two epicranial plates together form the vertex vertex is is nothing but a two epicranial plates together form what vertex like uh, you know in our body also it is called frontal bone it is called what frontal remember this word frontal only one frontal bone is there and later two parietals here two parietals fuse okay here two parietals are fused with a suture uh, with a suture the suture name is um, here the two epicranial plates are like this they are fused together with a suture the suture name is epicranial epicranial suture what is meant by suture suture means suture means stitching uh, actually we use the word stitching for uh, any wound if we get any if we met with any accident or if there is any damage to our skin uh, the doctors give stitches on that and we use the word stitches actually but in medical in medicinal terminology in a medical terminology we have to use suture doctors uh, give suture how many sutures two sutures three sutures we have to use suture from now onwards okay so here epicranial suture with the help of epicranial suture two epicranial plates are fused to form vertex and vertex resembles a first segment of the head the first segment of the head is resembled by the vertex come to the second segment here from here uh, there is a pair of antenna are present there is a pair of antenna this is like this a pair of antenna we will discuss about the antenna structure also this is the pair of antenna and this antenna is a segmented slender narrow antenna which has olfactory and tactile in function we will discuss about the antenna in a clear manner okay don't worry so antenna are arise from the second segment of the head okay so second segment of the head and then next there is a frons so i'll do one thing i'll write all the segments here instead of this diagram so remember the posterior or the first segment the posterior segment or the uh, epi segment epicranium uh, or that means uh, top of the head i'll write like top of the head vertex top of the head what vertex and come to here the frontal portion the frontal portion this top the frontal portion is uh, covered by frontal portion of head is formed by the frons frons and clypeus it is the frons and it is what the clypeus 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 and then next is uh, this is what the upper lip called the labrum so clypeus and labrum clypeus labrum frons vertex and then next uh, i'll uh, give another color for this um, here there is a gene here there is what gene is present 
This is G name. Okay. And very important here the mandibles are present. Here what? These are what? Mandibles. A rectangular, sorry, here actually the mandibles are in triangular shape. So I give the rectangular shape. So these are mandibles. So first we will write the frontal portion. Frontal portion is covered by the fronts, clypeus and labrum. Later the lateral portion. Or sides of the this is top of the head is vertex frontal portion fronts clypeus labrum and the sides are lateral sides lateral portion or lateral sides of head is a genie genie so these are the sclerates, very important sclerates which form the frontal portion and the lateral sides on the top of the head capsule. Okay, if we turn the head like that, these are the first, don't think as mandibles or the sclerates. Mandibles are not a sclerates, these are the mouth parts. We will discuss about the mandibles and their special structure when we discuss about the cockroach mouth parts. So first, these are the things, top of the head, frontal portion of the head, lateral side of the head, come to the back portion. So if we turn this head to the backwards, the backward head portion is like this. So in back side, there is a hole, there is a big hole, that hole is called occipital foramen. 